When it comes to monetary policy, the European Central Bank finds itself walking a tightrope. On one side lies the perilous path of runaway inflation, a scourge that has haunted economies throughout history, eroding the value of currency and undermining financial stability. On the other side beckons the siren call of easy money, the temptation to open the floodgates of cheap credit in a misguided effort to spur economic growth at all costs. It is a delicate balance, one that requires a deft touch and a steady hand at the tiller. And it is precisely this quality of prudence that governing council member Martins Kazaks has embodied in his recent comments on the European Central Bank's path forward. In the wake of last week's initial reduction in the deposit rate, a move that Kazaks rightly described as good news, the Latvian official struck a cautionary tone. While acknowledging the hope of further rate cuts this year, he urged his colleagues to proceed with caution, warning that inflation can sometimes come back. These words carry the weight of experience, born of a deep understanding of the intricacies of monetary policy and the often unpredictable nature of economic forces. For inflation, like a stubborn weed, has a tendency to take root and spread, defying the best laid plans of policymakers. Kazakhs's admonition that you have to be convinced that inflation remains at a low level before embarking on further rate reductions is a testament to his prudence and foresight. It is a recognition that the battle against inflation is never truly won, but rather an ongoing campaign that requires constant vigilance and a willingness to adjust course as circumstances dictate. In an era where instant gratification and short-term thinking often hold sway, Kazakhs's measured approach is a welcome counterpoint. He understands that the pursuit of economic stability is not a sprint, but a marathon, one that demands patience, discipline, and a long-term perspective. This is not to say that the ECB should remain paralyzed by inaction. Indeed, as Kazakhs himself acknowledged, further rate cuts will depend on what's happening in the economy and whether inflation is headed toward the 2% goal. This pragmatic stance recognizes that monetary policy is not a blunt instrument, but rather a finely calibrated tool that must be wielded with precision and adapted to the prevailing economic conditions. Yet, even as the ECB adjusts its course, Kazakhs's words serve as a necessary counterweight to the siren song of easy money. His cautionary notes remind us that the path to sustainable economic growth is not paved with cheap credit alone, but rather requires a delicate balance between stimulating growth and maintaining price stability. In a world where populist rhetoric and short-term thinking often hold sway, Kazakhs's measured approach is a refreshing reminder of the virtue of prudence. His words echo the wisdom of the ages, echoing the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle's notion of the golden mean, the idea that true virtue lies not in excess, but in moderation and balance. It is this very quality of moderation that has guided the ECB's actions thus far, and it is this same quality that must continue to inform its decisions going forward. For while the temptation to open the floodgates of cheap credit may seem alluring in the short term, History has taught us time and again that such excesses often lead to disastrous consequences. One need only look to the aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis to see the perils of unbridled credit expansion. In the aftermath of that calamity, economies around the world were forced to grapple with the painful consequences of excessive risk-taking and lax lending standards, as toxic assets and mountains of debt threatened to topple the global financial system. It was a harsh lesson in the dangers of abandoning prudence in favor of short-term gain, and one that should serve as a cautionary tale for policymakers today. Of course, finding the right balance between stimulating growth and maintaining financial stability is no easy feat it requires a deep understanding of complex economic forces, a willingness to adapt to changing circumstances, and a commitment to tempering bold action with prudent restraint. It is a challenge that demands leaders of exceptional character and wisdom, individuals who possess not only the intellectual acumen to grapple with complex data and models, but also the moral fortitude to resist the siren call of populism and short-term thinking. In Martin's Kazakhs, the ECB has found such a voice of reason, a steadfast guardian of prudence in an era that often seems to value expediency above all else. His cautionary words remind us that true economic progress is not achieved through reckless abandon, but rather through a careful balancing of competing forces, a delicate dance between risk and reward. As the ECB charts its course forward, it would do well to heed Kazakhs's counsel and embrace the virtue of prudence.
for in a world beset by uncertainty and volatility, it is this very quality that will serve as the bedrock of financial stability and sustainable economic growth. In the end, the road to prosperity is not paved with easy answers or quick fixes, but rather with the patient cultivation of sound policies and a steadfast commitment to moderation. It is a path that requires courage, foresight, and a willingness to resist the siren song of short-term expediency. And it is a path that the ECB, guided by voices of reason like Martin's Kazakhs, seems well poised to navigate, one careful step at a time.